Hello everyone, welcome to NCS Tutorial YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss steady state thermal problem. You can see the problem on your screen. It is a composite material made up with the copper and bakelite. And the temperature of this surface is 350 degree and temperature of this surface is 22 degree. So the conduction will take place from this direction to this direction. Heat will be transferred from this direction to this direction, right? And the temperature of different sections of the slab will be different and we will have to determine the temperature at the junction of these two slab okay and you can see the dimension the cross section of the slab is 100 mm into 40 mm and the bakelite slab is 80 mm long and copper slab is 120 mm long okay let's open the NCS workbench software I have already opened it on my PC so here it is a time independent problem so that we have to select the steady state thermal option right just double click on it okay you can see that and you have already seen that the block is made up with the copper and bakelite right so we know that at engineering data section structural steel material by default it was selected by the software right but here the materials are different. One material is copper and another material is bakelite. So just open engineering data section and go to the engineering data source. And again go to the thermal material. And this is nothing but to add the new material. Right. So here you can see the bakelite option. Just click on this plus sign. It will be appeared. Okay. And again, we have to select the copper. This is copper. Click on this plus sign. Okay. The work is done here. Right. Then go to the project and just double click on geometry because we have to draw this problem first. Right. So in the geometry section, we will first draw the cross section that is 100 mm by 40 mm. Right. So select any of this plane. I am selecting XY plane and just go to the unit and select millimeter, right? So it is a 3D interface. Let me convert it into the 2D. So just click this option, look at the face option. So this is your XY plane. Now go to the sketching, select rectangle and draw a rectangle. Then go to the dimension. Click this side of the dimension and click this side of the dimension. You can see that two dimension is already created. Two dimensions. One is a H1 and another one is a V2. So we know that the cross section of our slab is 100 by 40. So type just type 100 here and just type 40 here and press enter. Okay. So we have drawn our rectangle of two sides 100 mm and 40 mm okay now go to the problem you can see that we have made this cross section now make an extrusion of 120 mm this is for the copper one okay so go to the geometry again okay we have drawn it so just click on generate so that the sketch will be generated okay here you can see that under xy plane sketch one is generated okay now go to the extrude option right now click on sketch one and here click on apply so sketch one is applied for the extrusion and what is the value of extrusion this is nothing but 120 mm okay so just click here 120 mm just type 120 okay then press enter and click generate you can see that a solid is generated already okay this is nothing but your copper slab okay this is the copper slab now from here from this surface another slab is there and this is that is nothing but the bakelite slab okay so just click this surface click this surface Okay, to select the surface, just click this option. Okay, 
now click this surface okay and look at this surface okay so as the cross section of the bakelite slab is same as this cross section of the copper slab slab so that we will make a rectangle again of same dimension right so make a rectangle of same dimension okay now click on generate okay you can see that automatically a different plane and sketch tool is generated and this is nothing but your the cross section of your bakelite slab okay now make it extrusion okay of 80 mm right extrude this sketch to 80 mm now go to the extrude select sketch to and then apply and this is type 80 now see here is a trick you can see the option the operations there are many kind of operation you can do with extrude extrusion okay add material card material slice material add frozen we'll select add frozen why if you see if we select add material then nothing but it one single body will be created but if we select add frozen two different solid will be created in our case these are the two different solid so we'll add, click add frozen okay now click on generate okay you can see that here two body are generated one is this one another one is this one okay so from drawing part we have done okay now just go to the main slab okay now double click on model for the next part it will take a time please wait Here it is. You can see you can see here is the main object and this is the copper slab and this is the bakelite slab, right? And heat will be conducted from this direction to this direction, this to this, right? So just see the problem once again. At the copper surface, the temperature is 350 degree and at the bakelite surface, the temperature is 22 degree. Okay, now go to the problem. First of all, we have to create the maze. So go click on the maze and just click generate. Automatically, maze will be generated, you can see. Now go to the steady state thermal. Just click on it and right click. Go to the insert, go to the temperature and just select this surface. Just select this surface. This is the copper surface, right? And apply and the temperature. Just change the temperature here. Just type 350. Okay. And enter. So 350 degree centigrade temperature we have assigned for this surface of the copper slab, right? And then again, this is the bakelite slab, right? So again, go to the steady state thermal, right click, insert, temperature, and just click this surface and apply. At this surface, temperature is 22 degree. It is already selected. Okay. This, we have done our part. Now go to the geometry. We have created two solids one is this one another one is this one but we have not assigned the material so that we have to assign the material you can see that this is the copper body so just go to the assignment and just click these sections and you can see that at engineering data section we have selected copper and bakelite so it is showing here so just click on copper because this solid is made up with the copper and then go to the another solid and just go to the assignment and just click on bakelite 
okay so we have assigned the material one second and we have assigned the temperature this surface is 350 degree you can see here and this surface the temperature is 22 degree that is ambient temperature okay now we have to analyze this problem and we have to determine the temperature at the junction of these two blocks right okay now go click click on the solutions right click insert thermal and temperature because we want temperature right now click on solve it will take some time obviously the problem is solving you can check the progress here right again the speed of the solving solving problem is depend upon the configuration of your pc and here it is you can see here it is you can see the different color for different temperature is already here and you can see the temperature graph here so at this surface the temperature was 350 degree at this surface it is 22 degree okay now if if you want to check the temperature at any point of the body then just click on the probe okay just move the cursor you can check the temperature at different section it is showing okay right so what is the temperature at the junction of these two block now go to the edges and just click this right click this so undeformed wireframe right so that you can see that at the junction of two block the temperature is 348.29 degree okay 348.29 degree and you can also check the temperature at any surface you can check check it here the temperature is more and you can see that as this is a copper and thermal conductivity of the copper is more so that the heat transfer take place very rapidly so that the temperature reduction is minimum here but here the temperature reduction is more because this is a kind of insulator it is bakelite and thermal conductivity of bakelite is lower side so that here the temperature is decreasing very rapidly and here it is 22 degree what we have assigned and you can also check the animation just click on this you can check the animation right you can see the animation here right you can check it you can check it okay If you found, find this video helpful, then please subscribe my channel. And if you have any query, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.